start recording. All right, if you guys are new to the channel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification icon so you know I'm uploading and streaming. We are going to be playing a game called Summon Land. It's free on Steam. I don't know if it's on any other platform. It was on Steam. It's free to play. It took literally maybe like five, ten minutes to download. It's not that big of a game. There's uh, some of this. Uh, I'll leave a link to it. In the description so if you guys want to give it or try and play it but you know it's here how much it doesn't say how much oh some gigs that's why it was so quick okay all right well let's check her oh wait let's check and see if it's controller support fully controller supported all right that's good like games are like that this mouse and keyboard. Hey man, that's because using was to try to move and so actually hit something. Yeah. Especially in a horror game. No. This field game contains the moments of flashing lights and very little patterns that may cause seizures. Please accept medical professionals for playing with you. And don't play. Like my cousin has seizures because of that. It's like he can't really play or watch anything like that. It's kind of serious. Like you said, they gotten better, so. Click to begin. I can't even adjust my settings. Oh, there we go. Settings. Let's put this on medium. 60 hertz subtitle. I don't know what the box is. There we go. Use your solid safe functions that were on there to save the game from recent certain checkpoints. When you see the following, just refrain from exiting the game, make up your data. I got 16 gigs of RAM, it says you need 4 gigs of RAM. I don't know how many grab card you need, but... It's gonna be one of these mindfuck games. I think it's gonna be one of these mindfuck games. pretty confused and that's fine it's to be expected but look I have to explain all this constantly and I don't really care to do it again I'd say I do it hundreds of times a day but time doesn't really exist here so look all you need to do is walk outside into the hallway and into your first trial your body will be reenacting events exactly as they had occurred before simply put your free will won't exactly be that free anymore I'll be watching you so I can tally up your score, but fair warning, I typically deal with the, um, let's just say the people I judge typically score on the lower end, so <laughs> have fun with that on your mind. So you understand what you're supposed to do? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you can't respond. I've set all this up so you can't talk. I know, I know, it seems a bit harsh, but if you had to listen to people panicking for eternity, you'd get pretty sick of it too. Oh, where am I? What's going on? I want to see my family. It gets annoying. 
you know, it's almost like no one even reads the sign I put up. All right, enough talk. Uh, Head out into the hall and start your first trial. Let's get this over with. All right, interesting start. Let's see how this goes. How are you holding up, Evelyn? You're not looking too hot. No, I, I'm fine. Uh, just... shit. Looking at this makes me feel sick. I'll do this one. Yeah, it's hard the first few times. You're not a real investigator until you don't puke on the body. <laughs> Matt! Mm. Let's talk about anything else. Did you check the report? No, not yet. I'll check it out. Try not to lose your lunch while I'm at it. <laughs> Very funny. I need to check out that report to see what I'm working with. I think I left it on the hood of the cruiser. Uh... It says here that someone driving nearby heard a gunshot at the location. When they came to check it out, they saw the body. Only one shot was heard. No assailant has been identified. Not much more to go off of. What does it say? Just that some people heard a gunshot and saw the body. I'm not working with much. You hang tight. I'm gonna have a look around. Okay, that's a nice <sighs> point to go. Evelyn has a long ways to go, but I think she's gonna do well on the force. One of the most promising rookies I've met. Just takes time. A few more ride-alongs will do her good. Male, probably in his early 30s. Given the bullet hole in his head, I'd have to say he died from a gunshot wound. Looks like the bullet went straight through. I should probably take a look at that blood as well. Looks like someone had a bad day. Blood only seems to be coming from his head, so there likely wasn't much of a struggle. Oh, and would you look at that? Someone left a trail of blood. This knife has blood on it. Fresh blood. Had to have been used in whatever altercation happened here. Hmm. This casing belongs to a 9mm bullet. I still don't see a weapon around around here, though. This truck sure has seen better days. I'd be surprised if you could even get it running. This truck sure has seen better days. I'd be surprised if you could even get it running. Max is sharp. Good for chopping wood, but I don't think it was used in the murder. Go. Right. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going in there if I don't have to. Where's this blood trail? I need to look for more evidence to take pictures of. Shouldn't be too much left. Maybe I should see what I can find along the trail. The blood should be a good indicator where to look. Mm. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ, it smells like shit in here. Whoever lived here wasn't too keen on keeping the place tidy. Looks like a list of clients. Whatever happened outside could be a deal gone wrong. Saying then we'd be able to read that this is... That's a shotgun. 
Brewer. I need to look for more evidence to take pictures of. Shouldn't be too much left. Maybe I should see what I can find along the trail. The blood should be a good indicator where to look. I need to look for more evidence to take pictures of. Shouldn't be too much left. Maybe I should see what I can find along the trail. The blood should be a good indicator where to look. So you're saying this guy went this far? I need to look for more evidence to take pictures of. Shouldn't be too much left. Maybe I should see what I can find along the trail. The blood should be a good indicator where to look. Looks like this handgun was discarded, and rather hastily at that. Safe to assume this was used at the scene. I need to look for more evidence to take pictures of. Shouldn't be too much left. Maybe I should see what I can find along the trail. The blood should be a good indicator where to look. Okay, this is from... Well, we may just have found a motive. Four hundred dollars cash. Why toss it away? Oh. All right, let's see. There is four hundred. One, two, three, four. Unless it like later goes on it. I need to look for more evidence to take pictures of. Shouldn't be too much left. Maybe I should see what I can find along the trail. The blood should be a good indicator where to look. Uh, so here. So somehow it started from this tree? Pills. Not the cheap stuff either. Strong. Some people would pay good money for this. Okay, drag marks. Blood trail heads into that cave. I need to be careful. For the love of God, no jump scares. First, I know this shouldn't be a horror game, but you never know. Oh damn, there's actually somebody in here. Poor bastard. He's got a stab wound in his abdomen. It's deep, too. He most likely died from blood loss. Probably not too long after crawling in here. All right, I think that should about do it. I should reconvene with Evelyn before we head back to the precinct. <laughs> the running speed is kind of... God damn it, not now. <laughs> the hell is it about? Interactive, but where it is. What is door? That's mysterious here, but alright. Kind of reminds me of uh, Mind's Eye, I think that was. The other game I played is kind of like this. Um. I need to talk to Evelyn before we head back to the precinct.
Hey, Ev. Hey, Matthew. Did you find everything you need? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So, what do you think happened? If you don't mind me asking. Well, I'm gonna need to review a lot of it, but here's my theory. Our friend here on the ground came here to get his hands on some pills. Maybe during the deal, he had the bright idea that maybe he could leave with his pills and his money. So he took a gamble and stabbed his dealer. In turn, the dealer acted in self-defense and shot the guy, killing him. Scared, the dealer grabbed everything and ran, or at least got away as fast as he could with a stab wound. He tried to discard the evidence as he went, but he didn't really have time to hide it. He got to the cave before realizing he couldn't get any further, so that's where he stopped to bleed out and die. Jesus. Again, that's just my theory. There'll be a whole lot more of you, and it's just a whole process. Yeah. Hey, Matt, can I ask you a question? What's up, Ev? Why? Why do you think this happens? What do you mean? A drug deal gone wrong? No. No, just... These people. Why did they resort to this? Just seems like some people... Don't see right and wrong. Maybe I'm just being naive, but... I can't put myself in that headspace. Killing another person by choice? Hmm. I don't know if anything brings them to it. I think they may just be that way. Hardwired to do wrong. I don't know. I don't have much remorse for them. They've done bad. In my eyes, if you do something wrong, you deserve what's coming to you. You can't start sympathizing for them. That's when you start getting bad at your job. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's get back in the cruiser. Head back to the precinct. I need to sort through all of this. Yeah. Right behind you. It so reminds me of my anxiety. Well, I'm wondering if it has anything to do with them loading with the hands of loading. No, a police officer is definitely not what I expected from you. A man of the law. <laughs> Being a member of the police force doesn't exactly say much about your character, but it is a job aimed at keeping peace. Oh boy, I cannot wait to see how you screwed all of this up. Well, hey, don't stop on my accord. Head on out into your second trial. Hey, where's the key come? Oh my god, this kind of reminds me of, uh, when Dark was coming. Speaking of which, if you guys want me to finish that, we'll see it. Leave likes, comments, get to 100 views, and I would finish that up, because I don't think we had that much further to go on that one as well. Alright. Oh. Trial complete. Here's one, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we must be your chart. All right. I'll finish this one and put in it there. Okay, take it. This is my home. Okay, let's get a little light in here. That's better. Alright, I need to get some work done. Now I need to check my email. Definitely need to get my bills paid, too. Good thing oh. Joseph's asleep. That'll make things easier. What are you working with here? Oh, Xbox. It's kind of like the 360 controllers. <sighs> Damn it. My 
Looks like they're cutting funding from the police force again. I can barely even pay for my medication. Alright, we're gonna take a little pause break. Alright, we are back. I need to check my bills. Should probably take a look at my email as well. I need to check my bills. Should probably take a look at my email as well. I need to check my bill. How the hell am I supposed to keep this up? Especially with all these budget cuts. I may need to start prioritizing what to pay for. Alright, so he has a kid. Keys to something. Uh, I'm not really hungry right now. Plus, I have things to do. I don't really need anything in the basement right now. <coughs> nice guitar. <laughs> Me and Anna used to play all the time. God, I haven't touched this thing in ages. She was always better at it anyways. I need to check my bills. Should probably take a look at my email as well. Swimming. I need to check my bills. Should probably take a look at my email as well. Oh, that's the bathroom. I need to be quiet. Joey's sleeping. Just look at him. I do it all for you, buddy. <laughs> you look just like your mother. Oh, Jesus Christ, I scared shit out of me. Hey there, little creepy guy hiding in the toy box. Uh, take it. This one. Yep. Outlet picture thing. Alright. Bad feeling. God, I remember when I first joined the force. That was a long time ago. Alright. Another pay cut. I might need to take a second job. Shit. Joey's awake. There's gotta be something I can do to settle him down. Oh, I need to do something to get him back to sleep. There has to be something I can do to get Joey back to sleep. Well, this is a long shot, but...
<laughs> that seemed to do it. Love you, buddy. Oh, that was sweet. What am I supposed to do now? Check my bills, check my email. to be so expensive. <sighs> okay, okay. I need to take it easy. <sighs> oh, maybe I'll just... Just an old closet. And downstairs and need anything in there at the moment. on TV. Oh, I'm getting it now. You know what? Things aren't actually looking too bad for you so far. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to say you might not end up scoring too low. Almost. I handle all the bad people, remember? So, what have we learned? A police officer? A single father? What happened to, uh, what's her name? Anna? I wonder. Well, it's not really in my jurisdiction to know about that. We're here to focus on you, my friend, and... As much as I hate to say it, there hasn't really been anything I could justify docking your points for yet. Plus, you do really seem to care about that kid. I think I need to learn a little bit more about you, who you really are, where your mind's at. Step into the next room. I, I want to test something. Okay. This is definitely the guy that made when darkness comes. You see, I don't think I know enough about you. Yet. I want to learn who you are. Get inside of your head. So here's your job. There are two philosophers who have interesting theories about morality and ethics. They're the two guys you're looking at now, Immanuel Kant and Jeremy Bentham. They each came up with their own idea of what a good action is. Kant proposed the idea of deontological ethics. By his model, all actions are inherently good or bad, regardless of their consequences. Now let's use the trolley dilemma as an example. A trolley is going to run over five people who are tied to the tracks. If you change the direction of the trolley, it would only hit one person. Kant would argue that you don't change the trolley's direction. Sure, five people will die, but you didn't have any direct input on it. If you change the trolley's direction, that one death was caused by you. You committed an immoral action regardless of the outcome. Jeremy Bentham, on the other hand, would disagree. Bentham proposed the idea of utilitarianism. By his ideology, the right or moral decision is the one that results in the most good. The outcome is more important than the action itself. He would say that you steer the trolley to hit the one man. Sure, you were directly involved in his death, but more people survive than would have otherwise. All you need to do is tell me who you agree with. Kant's deontological method or Bentham's method of utilitarianism. Where do your morals lie? Personally, I'm just curious who tied everyone to the tracks. There are much more efficient ways to kill people if that was your goal. Anyways, push the button in front of the portrait of who you agree with most. After that, head out into the hallway. Your next trial will be waiting for you. Alright. I'm gonna have to check this room quick, make sure there's no Easter eggs. I keep hearing weird noises. Pictures, which is the interactive for that. What about this guy? Is there three 
four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight, so I can do four in this one, then do the air four in part two. Maybe, depends how long this is. All right, time to get some work done. I should check and see if I have any reports to take care of today. This is my desk. Oops, I'm interacting with any of these. Look like I'm assigned to anything at the moment. I should go down to evidence and check on that forest case. I need to go down to the evidence locker and check on that forest case. Questions. This restrooms. I need to go down to the evidence locker and check on that forest case. Hey, what are you doing here? Who let you in? Oh, uh, hi Matt. I was just checking back on what we found on the forest case. You know you're not supposed to be here, right? Plus, how'd you get in without a key? Oh, I'm sorry. I just told security I was working with you and they let me in. There wasn't a ton of fuss about it. Yeah, security has fallen behind a bit. It's these damn paycheck cuts. It's okay. You can hang out in here if you want. I was actually here for the same reason. Oh, well, I laid out the photos back in the corner. I assume that's your desk? Oh, yeah. Thanks. I'll check it out. And, hey... Don't mess with anything else in here, okay? Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> All right. Is your map? Yeah, that doesn't seem okay. This is one. Yeah, I still think my theory stands. Gunman was the one dead in the cave. He died from a stab wound inflicted by our initial victim. All well, just a drug deal gone bad. I feel awful for them. Don't. They got themselves in that position. I... I guess. Good. You can't let that stuff get to you. I'm gonna head upstairs. You should probably get out of here before somebody says something. Okay, yeah. I'll be out in just a bit. Oh, damn, she actually moved. I told you not to call me at work. I gave you my schedule oh, and- Oh, you think you have the authority to tell me when to call? I don't give a shit where you are. If I call you, you pick up the goddamn phone. What do you need? See, that's more like it. What I need is what we discussed. You still need the money, right? Yeah, I just... I don't like it. Well, tough shit. Think about it like this. After a few jobs, we cut our ties, and you leave with just enough cash to make all your problems just go away. Listen here. 
I know all about the government job pay cuts, and I know without this money, you Where is it? William and Son's bar. My boys will have been in and out. Be on the case. And hey, remember, you're doing this for the kid. <sighs> William and Sons. Okay. I need to get back to work. This never happened. Oh, yeah, that was right. But maybe not about the kills. We don't know about the kills. See, now this is what I was expecting. You're a bit sketchier than you let on. This will be entertaining. Taking suspicious jobs, working for the seedy underbelly of your society. You're just a basic crooked cop. <laughs> you know, I hate to say it, but I was almost rooting for you. I thought you may be the one good person I had. Oh well. Also, Bentham was an interesting choice. I mean, that's what most people would say, but in practice... Anyways, you've got more trials and I've got more life to judge. Let's get a move on. We're going on behind me. So, what's the damage? Armed robbery. According to the statement from the bartender, three men in masks came in and ransacked the place. Took everything they could. Cash register was completely emptied, so was the safe. Do you have anything to go off of? Well, the barman said he shot one of the men in the leg, but no one was killed. They all got away. That's not much. Hey, did you bring that UV light with you? Oh, yeah, I got it right here. Good thinking. Hey, I, I was thinking, maybe I could help you. No, no, you better just stay back. I can get all this sorted out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just, uh, be right here. All right. Let's get this over with. Fingerprints. I'll need something to clean these up with. Yes. Fingerprints. I'll need something to clean these up with. Here. Looks like your guys dropped something, Charlie. You really need to get some better goons. sure I'm using the UV light. I really need 
need to make sure this place is cleaned up. Should make sure I'm using a UV light. This spray will work, I just need something to wipe it down. Right there, Tiki. Alright, and there's Finn, the ladies' room. <laughs> really? I really need to make sure this place is cleaned up. Should make sure I'm using the UV light. Sir. Hmm. This could be useful. Handgun. PM40 model. This must be <coughs> bartenders. I don't think I need to bother with it. I really need to make sure this place is cleaned up. Should make sure I'm using the UV light. as a whistle. What's left? Ugh, oh, Charlie, next time have your guys wear gloves or something. All right, where's the other thing of fingerprints? have at least made an attempt to be clean. Alright, I think that's everything. I should talk to Evelyn. I need to talk to Evelyn before we leave. Alright, I think we're done here. Did you find anything worthwhile? Uh, no, actually. What? How is that even possible? I don't know. I just... I couldn't find anything. That... that can't be right. Let me take a look. No, it's fine. I looked everywhere I could and there was nothing. Okay. Yeah. Let's get back to the cruiser. I'll take you home before I head back to the precinct. Yeah. Okay. The suspicious one day. Hmm, grab this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no one's here. Good.
There we go. And that, my friend, is why you're in here with me. Cleaning up evidence from a crime scene, I expected more from you. I mean, not really, but still. All for what? Some money? That's a little thing I like to call greed, and it does not look good on you. You know, I think there's a little more I'd like to learn about you. Head into the next room. I want to test something. Alright guys, we are going to end it here. If you guys liked what you've seen so far, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification icon so you know I'm on the stream. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.